Welcome, pruritic people, to Camp Itch and Scratch. You're just in time to witness the time-honored tradition of bunk wars. And while you can't participate, we at Sketchy don't want you to be left out of the fun. Your challenge is to totally resist the urge to scratch for the entire sketch, not even once. So look sharp and be ready to bug out or you're going to get totally excoriated. Here is a particularly committed camper with his team emblem an itch mite highlighted on his scabbard. A scabbard is our symbol for scabies, a skin infestation by Sarcoptes scabii mites. And lucky for us, it's exclusive to humans. Yay. This camper is just itching to get ahead by burrowing into an underground tunnel, just as scabies mites burrows under the skin to lay eggs. Eggs that hatch, then molt and then travel to the surface to live and nibble. Speaking of living, scabies is transmitted by skin-to-skin -skin contact and tends to flourish and spread rapidly in crowded cohabitation or institutionalized environments, as represented by the cozy cabin accommodations here at camp. As suggested by the camp name, itch and scratch, scabies, causes intense pruritus, which often leads to excoriations. The itching, which is most pronounced at night, is symbolized by our dark nighttime setting. The extreme itching is thought to be a result of a delayed hypersensitivity reaction to the actual mites, their eggs, and the fecal matter being deposited under the skin. Yeah, they poop under your skin. Cue the phantom itching right about here, am I right? Ugh. Can't blame the guy for trying with all of his might. Get it? Might? To get the upper hand? Speaking of hands, the interdigitary spaces are a notorious sight for scabies to show up, along with the wrists, elbows, waistline, and buttocks. You'll notice that those areas are highlighted by this camper's red accessories, covering the body areas most commonly affected. In infants, the head, palms, and soles are often involved. Important to note that if it's a patient's first outbreak, they may not develop symptoms until weeks after exposure. 